Hi. As 2015 is coming to a close, I'd like to just look back and share what's happened and yeah. Because like I haven't made videos throughout the year. Well, in January, I told myself that this year I'm going to work hard on myself. I'm going to try and be a better person. Try and not see things as negative as I did and just work hard on myself really. Because I had quite a, a terrible November and December in 2014, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna power through this and I'm gonna make it work. January was a bit stressful because of all the hand-ins and everything for uni. But then February came and I had a break month and we did a lot of skiing, which was good. Skiing is like one of those things that I would get up at like four to just be the first person on the slope. While I was skiing, I could actually feel that I can breathe again and then March came around, uni started again. I was very motivated actually because I had done a lot of creative things within the month of February. It wasn't as stressful as I thought it would be. Like you can do the work you have to do, which is good because you don't feel overwhelmed and you feel like you can actually make it. And then in May, me and my two best friends, we went to Rock Out With Your Socks Out and it was just amazing. It, I just looked back at it and like, oh my god. It's a perfect evening spent with your two best friends and you're having the time of your life. You forget everything and you're just there and happy. Summer, July and August, um, I did a summer job, which was quite cool because I could do like layouts and stuff. In the summer I did a bit of writing again. In August I kind of lost that creative energy and yeah, then in September uni started again and immediately, like really immediately it became stressful and throughout those, this time, like September, October, November and obviously December now, I felt just like I couldn't do it anymore. It felt like this is so much to do that I can't do it. Also, I would like to say that without a few people, I wouldn't have done it. It's kind of obvious who they are. There's those three people that know me in real life. They helped me quite a lot, even though they don't know, I think. Whenever I was down, I could just talk to them and I could just, just spend time with them. Thanks to you guys here. And then there's those two dorks who don't know me in real life. Probably never will. They make me smile, they make me happy. And they have given me so much motivation. Like, honestly, thank you. And then there's poor idiots here who I owe a lot to. Who I just owe so much to that I can't really put it into words how much. Just thank you. Thank you to all of those people for doing what you did. It helped me and I don't know what else to say. It's been one hell of a year, both in good and bad ways. I feel like I know a lot more who I am now. For 2016, I would like to say that I'm going to be trying to be an even better person. I'm looking forward to 2016 because I can and I want to. That is all I want to say. And yeah, goodbye. Thanks for listening.